I've been looking at probably four variations of the serve. We've got the nice lob serve that's going to be lifted high, tight, shallow angle to the sidewall. We've got the hard, low one, similar sort of position, but just low and hard. We've got the third option where we're aiming to get the ball slightly wider that creates an angle that comes out at the body, forcing your opponents to do something round about here. And obviously we've got the one that comes down the middle and then at the element of surprise serve. And this year we're going to go for this nice high lob serve, forcing Jethro up high to return under pressure. So not a bad serve considering and, and, and what you would have noticed is actually Jethro did take the volley in nicely but his movement was backwards afterwards so it would have given me the opportunity to step in front. Okay, So that's my first one, that's my favourite, that's my stock serve. Uh, the other one is a flat hard one into the same sort of position. Yeah, that was okay. It, 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 got, it got what it probably what it deserved, a bit of a loose, loose return might have given me the opportunity. Not so keen on that one, but can be used very well as an element of surprise. The other one that I, I quite like doing, again, I think you chuck this one in ever so often. Uh, I've got that nice high lob that we've already demonstrated, but it's the one that I, I want to hit slightly into that side wall, and it comes out, it comes out at Jethro. Okay, we're talking about a quality player and he's able to adjust, but sometimes you, 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 your player that's receiving the serve is quite static, and that element of surprise coming at the body can force a loose return. And, and the last one, which we're all probably familiar with, is the one that we just, you know, we've showed the lob, we've got it over there, and we then just chuck one down the middle, forcing Jethro to do something. When we're looking for that target on the front wall with the lob backhand serve from the right-hand side, we're looking at somewhere, you know, on the front wall, you know, way up there, a couple of foot below the top, below the top red line. When we're doing the lob serve from the right-hand side of the court, the forehand lob serve from the right-hand side of the court, again, we're looking at a target somewhere round about centre, round about centre, somewhere, again, about two foot from the top red line, somewhere round about there. When we're looking for the lob serve from the left-hand side of the court, making that shallow angle that we've talked about in previous videos. We're looking at a target, again, a, a couple of foot below the top red line, somewhere up there.